everything cute prepared. Um, just uh, just proud of them. Solid all the way through. Um, thought they um, just stayed with it. You know, the meet felt weird at the beginning a little bit. You know, the five, I don't know, it was a five o'clock start, and you know, which forced the crowd to be a little bit later. And I don't know that it felt a little flat when we got started, and then there was some delays with some judging and. It just felt a little odd. It took us it took us till the second event to kind of really catch our rhythm a little bit and and um, kind of kind of get headed in the right direction. But really proud of them. I thought it was great. We gave away gave away a little bit on balance beam with some of our acro skills. We had a little little balance checks and things like that. But uh, overall, great. And when you can when you can hit those first three and then go to floor and do what we do, we got a great floor group. Obviously, um, um, you know we've we've got legs on this team in terms of uh, floor routines, and that's. Uh, that's a comfortable place to be when it's your last event because you know you can you can really kind of slam the door uh, at the end. So proud of them. I, it doesn't do a whole lot in terms of NQS or anything like that because we're already counting 198s at home. We need a we need a road score uh, to really make that move. So as crazy as it sounds, you know, theoretically, you know, we might get jumped this week or something as as well as as well as we did. So you know, that's the that's the weird part of our sport that sometimes people don't get, but. Um, you know, Cal, Cal's a good team. I think they uh, – Alyssa was telling me earlier that I don't know what they got to score, but theoretically we could wind up uh, third. But it, it, it really doesn't matter as long as we stay where we want to be. We want to stay in those top four. We want to we we stay near the top and at the top for SECs. And, and um, so that's, that's a good thing. I think tonight certainly helped our confidence. Uh, again, took another step forward with that. We were able to get Sierra back out there at the end and get her another uh, experience on floor, which she needed um, to kind of rebound a little bit, and it just uh, it worked out. I feel like every other coach we talk to in this room is like, well, I just want to focus on tonight. I'm just, just thinking about this one. Mm -hmm. But instantly you kind of start talking about the larger picture. Is that because you're so comfortable with how this team will perform here? That uh, Yeah. Yeah, I mean we are comfortable. We're comfortable in this building, and we're gotten we've gotten more and more comfortable on the road, as evidenced by last week. So we're you know we're still a work in progress, but we're seeing the kind of growth, and they're 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 staying on message, and they're they're doing a great job of responding when we challenge them to certain things, and and um, you know I, I don't think we're done. I don't think we we've, we've we're we're exactly where we want to be yet, but we certainly are seeing the growth, and I am trying to look at the big picture in terms of. Um, where we want to go. We don't want to get ahead of ourselves. And so, you know, when we talk to them and, and you know, it's different than what I'm talking to you all, but in, internally it's about the, as I've told you all before, it's about the five minutes in front of our face. It's about taking the very next step. Don't step back and look. At, I don't need them thinking about that. They need to stay focused on the task at hand and the process and, and continuing to improve uh, week over week and identifying the places that we can improve. They, you know, we got to be intentional about that. And so we, you know, we – We'll we'll do selfie Sunday when we come in and talk about the we we'll kind of take a look at what we're doing and and uh, evaluate and then get ready to go downtown and get on a podium which will be nice and um, and uh, hopefully get a big road score and continue to improve our 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 position. Coach, looking from the outside, one of the team's biggest focus has been maintaining consistency when competing away from home, as you already mm -hmm. stated. How will the team sustain the momentum you've carried since Georgia, considering that the next event you'll have outside of Louisiana will be regionals a month away from now? Yeah, you know, I, I like the fact that our season ends with us not having to travel a lot. Um, you know, we get to go downtown and, 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 and get an away score down there. Um, it, it's nice because we're going to be we're going to be rested theoretically, and it gives us the it gives us the ability to do the two days off we like to do after home meets versus when we're alternating home and away. Sometimes we only get one. And so I, I think we're at a place where we're going to be able to uh, rest our legs. And that's important this time of year. You know, a lot of times when you get to, to April, the most rested team is the one that, that has the freshest legs, is the one that can perform well. Um, you know, we're, we're going to be next week on different, on a, you know, in a different environment, and that's, you know, I, albeit not very far away, it is away, and it, and it, it, it is a test for us. So, and then we'll come home for senior night and, and then go, go to New Orleans for SEC. So, I, I, 
you know, I like the way the schedule lays out. It was intentional when I realized how our schedule laid out in the conference where we were alternating home and away all year. And it just it made a it made for us to be able to to get this nice comfortable finish without having to, you know, get on an airplane, come back and get home in the middle of the night and, you know, kind of lose a day where you're just kind of a zombie and and, um, and that kind of thing. So I, I I like the idea and I believe it's I believe it's gonna uh, keep us rested and, and in a better spot. I was scrolling through the leaderboard before um, they went on beam, and it was Haley Bryant, Haley Bryant, Haley Bryant, and then she puts in that perfect 10. Yeah. And, again, another all-around victory for her and third perfect 10 on floor, and she keeps adding to that. Is it, is it getting, uh, I don't want to say boring for you, but repetitive? No, it's her? comfortable. It's, I wouldn't say boring. Yeah. I never get tired of watching her, but it's comfortable. It's, um, it's a reassuring place for all of us. Uh, when we know that we have that kind of quality at the back end run, it's not just Haley. I mean, there's so many. You saw, you you saw people step up tonight. Tori, on bars. I mean, it, we we, it's, it's a complete team. And and uh, as long as their heads stay where they need to, look. I mean, I, I can sit up here and sing praises to Haley all night, and we do that every week. And and I I I I want her to get those accolades. Um, but I don't know what else to say. You know, it's just it's it's just comfortable, and I, I we know what we're gonna get when she goes, and we know that about a lot of them. It's not just Haley, um, but she has shown it so much um, that it just you, you know she is human, and and it's possible for her to make a mistake. She just doesn't let us see that very often. Um, we saw KJ Johnson have a really good night tonight. She scored a nine nine seven five on floor and nine eight seven five on vault. Just how does it feel watching her improve week after? Love it. You know what? That routine went nine nine seven tonight and it nine nine seven five and it deserved it. Uh, but the one last week was better, um, honestly. And and you know so we we do everything we can not to focus on scores, but. KJ is KJ does not always get recognized for the quality of the gymnastics that she does, and and um, you know, and I don't I don't mind saying that because she um, she puts it out there every single week, and it looks the same. And I'm I'm proud of her. I'm proud of the growth she she's had. She used to let she used to try to press and and get in the way, and and I think she's trusting herself more. She's shown a lot of growth mentally in terms of being able to. Um, be that consistent and um, that wasn't always the case for her and so uh, I'm just I'm tickled for that kid she's a she's a great kid tickled that's something my grandparents used to say yeah <laughs> I'm, I'm tickled I'm tickled. I'm just tickled. Scott, I'm tickled to see you. Uh, yes, I, I know. Yeah. Um, uh, okay, I, I got to ask you about Haley again. She said one score in the last two years under a 9825. Okay, just Okay, the great scores are great scores, and scoring is subjective. But the consistency of performance, that's highly unusual. I mean, have you – I know you've been around a lot of great gymnasts mm -hmm. in your career, but, I mean, that level of consistency is – is that's maybe the most off the charts thing to me. There's not her. many like them. I mean, there are many that have been like that for sure. I mean, I think Kai has been similar to that, and you know, Aaliyah's building a resume for herself. But you know, I the, the, as far as ones I've coached, it's been that we're consistent at that level. Courtney Kupetz comes to mind, who's coaching at Georgia now. Um, Katie Heenan was another one back in those days um, that was super consistent like that, and. Um, it's it's remarkable. You're right. I mean, you're 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 on the right track because I mean, I you know, I don't want to crown her the goat just yet because we got business to take care of. But let's uh, but she's she's amazing and um and she handles all the commentary about it too because that's all we all you guys want to talk to me about is Haley most of the time and 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 she handles it and it's it's uh it doesn't seem to doesn't seem to bother her and you know for some for some athletes that could get in their head and, and cause them to press or change who they are. Not her. She's Haley Bryant 24-7, no matter where she is. I think earlier when you said you couldn't figure out how to talk about her anymore, I couldn't figure out how to ask questions anymore. Well, stop hard. asking them then. Yeah, no, I'm okay. kidding. But no, <laughs> no, I don't want to – look, it's hard because you, you, it's, it's, so, it's so remarkable. We have, to, we have to talk about her. But 
you know, it's it, at some point I don't like I said, like she's she's a she's incredible. And and you know, I've said it before as as she goes, we generally go. And and um um but it but it's not by herself and I want to make sure that I that I repeat that because we've got a lot of a lot of kids that whether they're doing four events or two events or or one that are are working hard and being very consistent and doing and doing the same things and and chasing the same level of consistency that they see from the leadership on the team and and uh, certainly you have to have Haley and people like H Kaya and Haley and these others that are that are leading that charge but it's a characteristic that I'm seeing with all of them at various at various levels and so it's important that um, that we don't just uh, you know she can't do it without everybody else. Take six on every event. So, I was, I was more curious about what you thought of Connor's performance tonight. It seemed like she was just more reserved in her happiness after each. Routine. Yeah, I you know I keep telling y'all that's there's a lot of layers to that onion. As I've said, you know she's, um, um, but she felt better this week. Her back was back under control. You know her back had frustrated her for a little while, and she you know had not really kind of given us the straight skinny on some of it and I think sometimes she you know she didn't want us to think she was um sometimes kids don't want the coaches to know that they're hurting you know and that's just and she has to she has to learn that I need to know because we have other excuse me we have other options and that's um um we don't we don't have to run her into a ditch you know physically to to be successful so um but she felt good tonight and 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 looked good and and yeah she she's just she is reserved like i don't think you're ever going to see her jump up and down and go maybe she will later in her career i don't know i keep encouraging her to try to loosen up and mostly what i say to her on the floor has nothing to do with gymnastics it's it's generally just about trying to get her to smile and and getting her getting her to feel good and be happy and 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 show a little bit of stuff like like when she did that double layout tonight, I walked. I always quote my grandfather on things, and I said my granddaddy would have called that a great biggin. Yeah, you know that she just she just chuckles with her kind of cheeky little grin that she has. But you know, I keep trying to pull it out of her. But she is who she is, and I don't want to change it because she's she's very cerebral. And if she needs to be drawn down to be that successful, fine. So so be it. That, that it, Scott? You didn't you not know, get me on something else? I'm I'm good. It's early. I tell you where I'm going. I'm going to Superior Grill. If you, you know, oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen you. I'm plugged. I probably shouldn't have done that. They are they sponsors. I'm gonna get in trouble with sports properties on that probably. It's yeah. Not going in the game story. Yeah. yeah. No shameless plugs. In yeah. The, in the advocate. Um, about the crowd. You you did fret about this all season long. You know, but you weren't happy about the the time of the meet. And it, it was kind of a late arriving crowd, but yeah. they did show up. So you, yeah. you have to be, and it was so sold out to begin with. So you had to be pleased by all of that. Yeah, I mean, I don't. What was the pay? Did we announce that? Does anybody know what it was? Because they suspended ticket sales two days ago and was, said they were oversold or whatever. But um, no, it was great. I was I was concerned. I don't I don't understand why we had to have a five o'clock start. And I've made that my feelings about that known. I don't think that you know. I know they wanted to put the best, what they felt the best matchup was on, on ESPN two versus the SEC Network, and um, and that's great. Except that if if you do it at five o'clock and people can't get here, you know I, we're at a place where I, I you know I want to be a good steward and try to be as, you know that's a we we want our crowd in here. We want the, we want them to to be able to utilize their tickets that they buy and that we you know we're selling. We want them to come here and feed their kids and buy concessions and do all the things that we need as a program to 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 be you know fiscally responsible to our athletic department too and I you know so when the, when the SEC and the conference you know not not the conference but the the ESPN dictates that it, it was it was concerning to me because I was worried that it, you know half half the place would be empty you know it wasn't and so it's a testament to our fans as you mentioned I mean I, like our fans got here I don't they 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 it, they were a little light on the energy early, and maybe that's because they were rushing to get here and had to get their kids out of school and then get here as quickly as possible. But I'm grateful that they went to the effort to get here because I, when we came out, I was like, oh, this is going to not be good. And um, 
I guess by the second rotation, I looked up and it was it was awesome. And they were they were, they they got into it, and we gave them something to get excited about too. And so that that sort of built the energy back up a little bit too. But you know, on some on some levels, it's kind of good for us to go through that because I've told the team a hundred times we can't be dependent on the energy we get from the P PMAC. We can enjoy that and we can feed on it, but we can't be dependent on it. We've got to create that for ourselves when it's when it's not there, whether we're here or somewhere else. But um, it ended up being a great crowd, sold out 12-5 again. Um, you know, this place is special when it comes to fans. I, I, I've said it before, I'll say it again. It is special. Um, can you just talk a little bit about Ashley and Tori? Uh, they both posted yeah. career high scores and everything. Great, great, great stuff, you know, and they don't – that you know it's frustrating when you when you you're in the lineup some and then sometimes you're not and and you're doing the work and you you know you you know but our kids have done a good job of handling that i knew this year where that would be a challenge if we if we had people that were unhappy about not getting in the lineup and really it came down to, uh, ashley was going to was going to be in and i was trying to decide you know with with sav out this this week i was trying to um, decide whether you know whether it was Olivia or whether it was Tori, and they they practiced almost identically. They warmed up almost identically. They both were landing well. They both were hitting their hands. They were doing the things you want to do. And I went to both of them. and was like, congratulations. What I what I want as a coach is to have nausea when I make decisions, and you you created that for me. And and that's good. That's a good thing. They were, but they it's a good friendly thing and you know I, I told Liv I said you did everything right I'm gonna get you out there you know we're gonna we're gonna find an opportunity to get you back out there but she handled it and she's like I get it it's all good you know and she, you know we're we're seeing the maturity of that within our team that they're not they're not becoming self-oriented to the point that um, that it bothers them. they're competitive and they want to get out there and I understand that and it's natural to be disappointed when you're not and especially like with Tori she's been in she's been out you know several times and and that can be a hard spot to be, you know. But um, but I'm just proud of the way they're handling it, and we, you know, we we genuinely try to make the best decisions possible for every scenario, and and um, and I tell them at any moment you could you could be called upon. I mean, just like what we did with Sierra tonight, you know. And so you got to be ready. Got to be ready to go go perform. So that's it. All right. Thank y'all.